good. Hi guys. Alrighty, so as you can see, I have a premium format inside the studio today, and we are opening it's Adam West, one of my favorite Batmans of all time. Maybe my favorite Batman just sort of because that's what I grew up on. Yeah. It was my dad's Batman, it was my Batman. It's what got me into Batman, so he <laughs> holds a special place on my heart. This is a premium format that I've wanted for a long time. They didn't make a whole lot of them though, so the ones that have been available on eBay have been really really expensive like twelve hundred dollars not spent twelve hundred dollars on premium format however there was an ebay coupon a couple mm -hmm. last week this week whenever you're gonna watch a video i don't know when the video is gonna be edited however i got this bad boy for less than four hundred dollars yeah when he told me how much he could get it for i was like well you probably should do that <laughs> yeah. so i was super super excited about this i can't wait to add this into the collection so it is used so hopefully everything will be fine with it. Nothing will be broken. It's eBay, so, you know. EBay, so. Let's uh, let's open this bad boy up and see what kind of shape it's in. Yeah. The guy I bought it from said he tried to wrap it up exactly like it was when uh, he actually got it from Sideshow. So we'll see how well he did. So you saw the box, though. I guess I should have tried. That's an awesome box, right? That box is really cool. I love it. It's very kooky. Look at yeah, that. Yeah, that's what it is. That's definitely 60s. If I've mm -hmm. ever seen it, it's definitely <laughs> 60s. So love that. Great, great box art. And uh, yeah, here we go. So I mean, he taped it up nicely. Yeah, it does kind of look like it came right from, yeah. the, right from the sideshow. So let me open up the top here. I assume this is probably the base. Uh, probably. Or the cape, possibly. The base on this thing is really great. It's one of my favorite things about this statue. Something you don't actually see a lot with 66 stuff, which you'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute. This is the base. So wow, this base is bigger than I thought it was going to be. Oh man. I saw it online yeah. and I just didn't think of it being this big for some reason. Uh, these are a quarter scale though if you guys aren't familiar with premium formats. Also, you guys are looking at the back. I've noticed some of the comments about what's going on in the back. Uh, you'll find out soon. This, these are new cabinets we got from Ikea, yeah, so there'll be a video about how we went about doing that. And as you can see, there, it's not all set up yet because we have some big statues coming in over the next few weeks. We've had pre-ordered for a little while and, oh, yeah. and also bought off eBay. So we're trying to make room for them mm -hmm. because the old shelves we had, although did the trick for a lot of our stuff, yeah. some of these heavier statues... They're uh, starting to bow a yeah, little bit. Yeah, too, too scared that they're going to break. So here we go, here is the base. Man, that's pretty. Yeah, so this is what I like about Whoa. this 66, this particular premium format. It's the 66 logo. It's very cool, but I'm like fascinated by the base of that. Yeah. Like, look at the bottom. Check out the bottom of that. That's really, really cool. That's awesome. So it looks a lot like the box too. The, the box 247. art. 247, that's awesome. Yeah, so there's only 750 of them. That's actually one, that's a lower number than a lot of premium formats, mm -hmm. which is why it's kind of hard to get for a good price. Man, that's so, so pretty and so smooth. Yeah, big fan of that base. I'll put that right here. Reminds me of the wheel on the that's 66 right. Batmobile. Now let's, so, let's see what he Here's the like good inside. stuff, the guts of it all. All right, here we go. Oh, it like, it just exudes awesomeness. Yeah. So let's, uh, let's go with him first. I can see he actually did try to wrap this thing up very yeah, well. Yeah, he did. I was like, man, so this I appreciate looks nice. that. I appreciate the hard work there. Sometimes I forget about how big these are until you get them for the first time again, which is why I'm a big fan of the one-fourth scale model. So, one thing I like about this one though, it has soft goods. So, a lot of the premium formats are now going to fully sculpted, which I can appreciate too because they'll last longer, more than likely. But there's something about soft goods mm -hmm. on a statue this yeah. big that I just absolutely love. It still smells fresh too. Yeah, I think he said he had it for a couple years in his collection before before selling it. But obviously I'm a big Adam West fan, so this is one I just had to have. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea for this one. They prefer maybe the um, maybe a more hardcore Batman. But, you know, I have those too, but I really... I can't get over the size of the bottoms on that, like the underwear on that. They're so big. <laughs> Gotta love the underwears, man. <laughs> Gotta love the underwears. Okay, so I think the cape goes I next. I think so too. Because there's only a few pieces in this, I believe. Uh -huh. Just the cape and the head. The head sculpt. So, wow. so far it's looking pretty cool. This is nice. Feel how soft that is. I oh. love when oh, you, you know have what? like a silky feel. I think actually this goes on after the head sculpt because his oh. cape... This cape actually went over, over. the cow. Yeah. It didn't go under it. Oh, okay. So it's kind of weird, I know. So oh, that's fine. here's the head sculpt. Let's see how well how well they matched Adam West's portrait. Dang, they did really Dang, good. That looks so good. It's like perfect. They did really good. Look at his skin. Okay, so here you go, guys. Obviously, I'm throwing pictures in here so you can see them up close, but 
That that looks like Adam West. Yeah, it does. That's actually really well I really well like done. that that grimace grin that he's got going on. It looks amazing. Teeth aren't too bad either. If you buy any any stature, really, it's not just these mm -hmm. teeth. Just they always suck of the paint. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it's just hard to paint teeth properly when they're that small. But these aren't these aren't too bad really. So very cool. All right, let me put that in there then. Now we have a magnetic head, and uh, now we just need to put the cape on, and we have Adam West. You know, it goes that way. Oh, which way? Wait, I just gave it to you. That okay. way. <laughs> yeah. So here we go. I'm not real sure how to do that. Alrighty, so the cape is on. As you can see, we're looking up how to put the cape, you know, how to actually fold the cape properly. It's got wires in it, obviously, so you can sort of pose it. But I don't really know what it's supposed to look like posed because that's one of... I'm not very good at that, honestly. It's kind of hard to figure out where to put these things without it looking kind of weird but uh man i love this it really does look like adam west this from the series all righty so it actually goes back then doesn't it maybe let me see what's going on here yeah this kind of this Adjust and this will go back like this what maybe? The heck? close enough it is what it is doesn't really matter to me yeah though. So, no, yeah. he looks good either way. I, I love it, like man. Mm -hmm. I love it. Now, typically, I like my one-quarter scale statues more in like a heroic or a museum pose where they're pretty stagged, but there's not a lot going on. Obviously, I like dynamic poses, too. They're mm -hmm. awesome. Uh, it's just sometimes they feel a little scary, like they might break when they're yeah. that big or they're hard to grab and move. Uh, one of the things I like the, the museum poses more, but this sort of teeters that line between museum and and dynamic mm -hmm. so i can really appreciate it. i really appreciate that they they took that chance with yeah. this because that is typical adam west right that is, <laughs> is that is 66 batman if i've ever seen it well for me it, Woo! Looks, Woo! Like, it Woo! looks like he's like in the middle of fighting but then he could also be dancing which i kind of like about it yeah. too so. a little bad too yeah. maybe in there yeah. you could do something like that and i also can really really appreciate that they did the black and red base. I love the base on that. Honestly, I think I like the base on this more so than I do the statue itself. <laughs> oh, I know yeah. that, that sounds terrible. Screw the statue. The That's base a cool is base. Cool. It's a flat piece. <laughs> no, I mean that is something we love, and yeah. we we actually go and see the '66 Batmobile as many times as possible throughout oh, the yeah. year. We're lucky that we live in the state. We live a couple hours from mm -hmm. the, the only guy in the country in the world that's allowed to make one, right. and make them, and actually sell them. Yep, Mark Rigo. Man, I wanted so bad to buy one. Woo! But they're a hundred. I know, I was like, put the brakes on, baby. I didn't have it. <laughs> <laughs> but I think they'd be worth it if you had the money, no doubt about it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I can appreciate that. They, 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 they sort of brought that Batmobile into mm -hmm. it. And you do not see that with 66 stuff right. very often because well, the color difference exactly. blue and gray and yellow and then red and black. You think, what the heck? Right, it's like, is that supposed to go together? Yeah. But I feel like they're synonymous with each other. Like, you can't really have the 66 Batmobile without the Batman. Absolutely. You can't have the Batman without the Batmobile. So, I mean, I think it's cool if they tie that all together. So, I guess going into this statue, let me kind of look it over and, and we can uh, kind of see what. What we like about it so obviously like we said the soft goods yeah soft the, goods are always one of my faves i just love it i mean with these guys back here they're like alex ross sort of mm -hmm. sort of sculptures some of my favorite things about those even though they're maybe not they're kind of outdated compared to what the new ones that are out are i just like the soft goods because to me they feel more real yeah they feel like they're in it, the right space. Mm -hmm. Literally, you shrunk them down. Mm -hmm. You know, when, yeah. you, when they're sculpted, they don't quite look like that. Yeah. So it's a good medium. I know a lot of people like hot toys for that reason, and of course mm -hmm. we like hot toys yeah. for that reason. But uh, but when they're this big and this grandiose, it sort of puts it in a whole new perspective. I just perspective. like the variety of textures with the soft goods mm -hmm. on the yeah. statues. It just it, it makes it much more interesting for me. So the boots are sculpted really well. Mm -hmm. um, the colors aren't too bad. Um, I would say. It almost feels like it's not purple enough. I thought they looked blue to me. Yeah, because it's, you know, he has a weird color. It's like a blue purple. Mm -hmm. A purple. Yeah, uh, a purple. Yeah. <laughs> I will say, though, they made Adam West a little more muscular than he actually was on the yeah. show. <laughs> not quite that muscular, <laughs> but, uh, but I can dig it. I think the Hot Toys maybe nailed it a little closer to what Adam West's body style was. <laughs> Probably. But, but I can appreciate that they gave him a little muscle. I like that more, personally, because he was kind of I'm sure he skinny. does, too, or he did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, it w and speaking of that, you know, being that Adam West was such um, a pivotal role in my liking for Batman and, you know, my relationship with my dad growing up for, you know, liking stuff like this, uh, you know, and of course he passed a couple years ago now, I guess. Has it been a year? It's been two years now already, has it? It's been almost it? two years, I think. Wow, that's, that's crazy. Hard to believe, because to yeah. me he felt like 
he was like he's like a Stan Lee, you know. Yeah. He, he was sort of that that um that father figure because Marvel had Stan Lee, mm -hmm. whereas DC sort of in a way had Adam West. Yeah. Adam West was sort of that grandfather, that yeah. dad, you know. It, they were the two characters, the two people that kind of carried so many generations through all of this like nerdiness, and it's just kind of sad that we've lost these two people, these two, two staples, important people. Two staples yeah. in, the, in the genre. Yeah. Uh, but like I was saying, it's um it's a good tribute piece. Yes, it is. It's a it's a good tribute piece for me personally to see them. I wish they would have made uh, like I know he did never. I don't think yeah, he might have, but it would have been cool to have just a head sculpt, just a you know a general head sculpt without the, <laughs> the cowl on. Yeah. That would have been a cool thing you could have bought. Or maybe even the pink cowl would have been neat to have as well. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> it's an interesting episode. But uh, yeah, overall, love it. Love the soft goods. The cape is done really well. Uh, they nailed the head sculpt, I believe. I think mm -hmm. the head sculpt looks a lot like Adam West. I really do. Um, and the pose. So to me, this is, it's a must have. The only unfortunate thing is they didn't make a whole lot of them, 750. And they're That's expensive not a lot. now. They're expensive, they're hard to get. Luckily, I was able to get a really good deal on it and I jumped on it and I was super excited yeah. to jump on it. And uh, now he will be behind us yep. on the show. Now, if you guys do like this and you do like 66, there's also another premium format that came out a couple of years ago of Catwoman. Mm -hmm. So they're sort of counterparts. Although we don't have a Robin, I feel like we do need a Burt Ward at some point. Because, you know, it's kind of hard. Yeah. That was a show where it was Batman and Robin. Robin. It was never one right. or the other. So I wish, or I hope, that we'll see one of those in the future because I will definitely get that. I just and you'll pre-order it this time. I will pre-order it this time. <laughs> I will definitely pre-order it this time. So, guys, what do you think about this? Is this one that you like? Are you Adam West fans or are you 66 Batman fans? I know there's a split because a lot of, a lot of younger kids grew up with Adam West on Family Guy. That's right. They, they, knew, did, yeah. they knew him through Family Guy and then eventually saw that it was Batman, but they never really watched the 66 mm -hmm. Batman because maybe it's a little, little campy, obviously, for yeah. some people. When you grow up, you know, I'm kind of, I don't want to say I'm jealous of these kids, but no, nah, not really. I'm not jealous at all, actually. I, I'm, I'm sad. I'm, I'm <laughs> depressed for you. Uh, the ones that maybe were young in, when the Dark Knight series came out, Nolan came out, yeah. when his line came out, and that's how they were introduced to Batman. My I, God, could you imagine? Yeah. I mean, no. I've been through the ringer. I was introduced to 66 and then really sort of introduced with Batman the Animated Series. Yeah. And, you know, I lived in the perfect time. I lived mm -hmm. in the perfect time to be a Batman fan. I did. It's awesome. Yeah. All right, guys. So there it is. What do you think? Let us know in the comments. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye.